Hey, what's going on, Libras? Butch Tarot here. We're going to do your one week read. It is a general read, so it will not resonate with everyone. Uh, it is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Uh, if you haven't already and you like this channel, uh, like and subscribe. Join our little community. Um, for all you that have already, Got nothing but love for you guys. You guys give me lots of love and support. Um, you know, through all your comments, donations, and emails. You know, I really feel it. And it makes me, you know, it, it gives me this feeling of, um, you know, true joy to be able to do this for you. With that being said, let's get it. Universe, we have a That's what we have for Libras. All right, Libras. So the first thing I see is there's something new coming in. There's we got some new energy, some new love. I feel like there is some communication coming, um, you know, and I feel like this is some new energy. I feel like I said, there's new love, but it's also new energy. I feel like there is someone coming towards you. And I feel like once they come towards you, I feel like you're going to feel a very strong connection with this person. You know, you're going to feel a very deep connection. But there's also going to be a part of you that's going to be very, very hesitant. Now, I feel like the more you feel for this person, the more hesitant it, you're going to become. Because I feel like there's a lot of, you're going to feel a lot of player energy. Almost like this person is trying to play you. Because even though you feel the connection, even though, you know, they say, you know, even though they say things that feels like they want to say more. And they're holding back. I feel like it's going to feel like. It's not going to feel genuine. Because I feel like there is that feeling. that there, There's something they're holding back from you. And it's almost like they're just trying to play games. I feel like it's going to be very hard to trust them. Now I feel like they do have a lot of feelings for you. And it's going to be very quick for them. But I feel like this person has has commitment issues. Like I feel like they they find it very hard to commit. And I feel like they find it very hard to tell you how they feel because their feelings don't match their actions. You know, they have they have a hard time committing. You know, I feel like they overthink things. I feel like they're having a hard time accepting how they're truly feeling. They're they're keeping their feelings hidden from you because they feel like if they if they let you know how they feel. That's the next step would be commitment. You know, I feel like they're, I feel like they have a hard time giving to a situation. I feel like they've been hurt in the past. I feel like they've given, they've given to a situation in the past and they never got back what they put in. And even though there's a strong pull towards you, even though they have a lot of hidden feelings for you, I feel like they they have a very hard time 
giving in to that, that urge to tell you exactly how they feel. And I feel like that's going to give you that, that's what's giving you that player energy. It's almost like this person, you know, you feel something from this person, but is it real? Because they're not saying it, you know, they're not giving to it. And why aren't they giving to it? Are they giving to someone else? There's going to be so many questions surrounding this person. You know, and I, and I feel like it's going to be very hard that, for them to give. And it's going to be very hard for them to commit. Because I feel like they, they're afraid that if they give to the situation, they're going to regret it. And it has nothing to do with you. It has to do with their past. This person does not listen to their intuition. You know, their intuition is telling them something, one thing and it's almost like they're ignoring it. You know, there's a lot of emotional fulfillment here. I feel like it, there's the more you're around this person, the more you feel connected. But then again, there's also that feeling that they're hiding something from you, that they're not they're not being honest with you. And they're not. They're hiding something and what they're hiding is their feelings. They want so much more from you. They want to give you so much more. This person has been hurt badly in the past. And that doesn't give them an excuse to ignore how they feel now. That's just what I see. That's the energy I feel around this person. They just don't know how to give to a situation without getting hurt. And the way they feel for you, the way they see you, you know, makes makes that a possibility makes that possibility even greater. But I do feel like I do feel like this is coming to an end. And I I do feel like there is an end game to here, and I feel like they will finally give to the situation. I do see forward movement, and I do see them making that offer. And I feel like it may catch you off guard because of the fact that you felt like. They didn't feel the same way because they weren't acting the way that someone that would feel that way would feel or someone that felt that way would act. You know, a lot of cautious energy around this person. They're very cautious, but like I said, I feel like things will, you know, things will move forward because I feel like the way they see you, you know, and the way they, they feel about you, they can't ignore that. They can only ignore it for so long, and I feel like it's really going to get to them. And like I said, I feel like it's going to catch you a little bit off guard, because I feel like the more you feel for them, the more sus suspect you are of them. And the more you start wondering, am I giving to a situation for, you know, a, a, a situation that has no good end for me? There's a lot of hurt in this person. They weren't expecting to meet you. They weren't expecting to have this connection. And it will take time, but I feel like things are going to move forward. And I think, I feel like once they start giving to the situation and once they start accepting this connection, I see a lot of big things. I see a lot of great, you know, great energy coming. But like I said, we, we're going to have to get through that, that rocky beginning because they deeply deeply feel for you. Like I said, there's a lot of emotional fulfillment. Um, there's a lot of moving forward here. And I feel like once they start giving, it's going to be hard for them to stop. And I do see a lot of great things coming, like I said, but we're going to have to get through that. And that energy that you feel like they're playing you or they're just trying to play some sort of game. I, I don't get the sense that they are. I don't they, I don't get the sense that they're trying to be, you know, malicious at all. I feel like they're being very careful not to give in not to give you too much because they're afraid if they give you too much that they won't be able to stop. And that's exactly what's gonna happen. Whether they like it or not, they're gonna start giving. And once they start giving, they won't be able to stop. You know, sometimes we don't all accept 
love them the same way. You know, I do feel a very strong connection between the both of you, and I feel like this is going to be something that is worth it. But it's all free will. It's whether or not you think it's worth it. But yeah, like I said, there's going to be a lot of hesitance. Very afraid to commit. Very afraid to give themselves to someone. Because I feel like this person is very deep. They're very loyal. And once they give, they're in. Once they're in, they're in. And there's no turning back for them. Now with this person, we have a lot of water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, we have a lot of fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And we also have some air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But like I said, it's, it is, there, there's going to be some, there's going to feel, you're going to feel very connected, but you're also going to feel like there's something missing. And what's missing is them giving to the situation. And I feel like that will come. You know, it's almost like when they start feeling more for you, they're going to, they're going to try to pull away. So there's going to be a lot of hot and cold energy with this person. But I feel like that won't last very long. I feel like once they start giving to the situation, um, they won't be able to hold back anymore. But that's what I have for you. Be good. Take care. Stay safe. And always trust your intuition.